What is going on, internet, YouTube world? Spinning noise. And of course, like the one time that I decided to start recording. Oh, there we go. Of course, when I start recording, you know, there's noise. But uh, I'm gonna try out something here. I'll do a little bit of experimentation. What's going on, folks? This is your friend, Mr. Kearney, Mr. K. Put some more fluid art, and yeah, I'm doing a little bit of experimentation here. Um, this is actually something that I've seen some other artists do, and you know, I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. No, I wouldn't say it that far, but like I said, I've seen some other artists kind of play with this method. I'm just kind of wetting the canvas down a little bit. There's some really good skin though underneath here that I don't want to ruin too much, but because of where you know the placement of everything is, I know I'm going to ruin it or add to it. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I just had a little bit of experimentation here. Um, the idea that I kind of have. The idea that I kind of have is I keep seeing these paintings where you know you'll have folks who will put colors in together and the colors will all be on one canvas and then they'll transfer it over to another canvas and you know just kind of with some of the magic there. I thought I'd just try it out, just to see if it was something I could do. Um, I don't even know if I have the paint to even really try this. You know, I'm just more experimenting right now than anything. Um, yeah, I'm just more experimenting right now than anything, just to see if this is something I can do. And I don't know, I mean, maybe it happens, maybe I'm just kind of disappointed by it, maybe it does come out really cool, we'll see, you know. What they seem to do, just to kind of give you a what's happening here, what they seem to do is they will add in some colors. They're gonna put the colors in the one area. And then, you know, they're going to basically allow the colors to work themselves through magically and transfer over to the other canvas. What should happen at least is that all the colors and everything do get the second canvas, you know, are gonna make a really cool effect. So That's what we're going for today. Yeah, we're gonna go for that sort of deal where, you know, like I said, I'm just gonna add some colors and see what kind of presses over. Um, and I'm just adding colors at this point. I'm not really giving too much of a worry of what colors are where. Yeah. Um, it does kind of have an abstract sort of feel to it right now. Which I think is because most of my artwork has that abstract beach feel to it. But, um, yeah, at the same time, I'm not like super beaching this up here, you know. Um, you know, I'm allowing the beach to flow.
just get any of these colors out. Most of these are really a lot of like my leftover paints, you know, my leftover colors that I've just had for you know, me some of these years ones. <laughs> uh, I haven't done quite much with the paints yet, so you know, I'm figuring at least with this method here, hey, you know, maybe I can figure a way to get some of these paints, you know. Something kind of decent happens with these where you know I do like them. Why do I think I already use this one? more in here. This one for water or um, we're just kind of adding things in. I mean, I like how that's kind of spread right now. yesterday's video, you know, I have a new routine, maybe I didn't. Hopefully this coming weekend, so I'm going to try to take advantage of as much of the quiet space of here as possible. Um, quiet space and time for me back downstairs, which is right now October, so, you know, the AC is actually on right now, and it's the first time this AC has been on in about a week or so. I was really kind of, you know, happy about not having AC. It's always kind of a little cold and sad when you're cold or whatever, but you know, if you know me, you know, I'm like, hey, any excuse to say not having an AC on definitely saves. You know, there's definitely a reason for some happiness there. Definitely allow that to happen a little bit. That's definitely a cool thing there. Just say, hey, AC is off. I don't know, I'm almost ready to try this. So, what was supposed to happen is just to press this side down, right on top of it. Okay. And oh, don't slide. I'm supposed to spread it down. Kind of sit down, like right on top. Smooth it in there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to actually flip this canvas over to this side before I expose it. Uh, just because, like I said, you know, I want to get it to where everything is nice and get it some world. And how I might even move these back a little bit off of that one. Skin. I don't know, I kind of like that skin, but I kind of don't. Some people almost even like just take that skin and try to make a painting out of it itself. Um, you know, I've seen people where they've taken them and they've just put them down directly on the area where the skin's at. Um, I actually have a painting downstairs that should this work, the way I'm kind of thinking. I've been kind of trying to look at this painting for a while and see if maybe I can figure out how the guy made it. It's kind of funny, I found it actually like when I was doing a task, it was in the trash area of the task. And at first I was thinking, oh yeah, you know, free canvas. Because I, I will admit, I picked up a couple of canvases out of the trash. Like, hey, well, if you're going to throw this away, I want to be made out of it. <laughs> but 
after I looked at it for a while, I was like, oh, well, maybe I actually kind of like the painting. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens when I flip this over. Y'all ready? Ready? Let's see what happens when I do this. Okay, all right. I see where you're going. I'm just going to move you down a little bit. I just spread some of that. spot in the corner I just want to get rid of. There we go. Bring that back. One thing about fluid painting, if you don't like a section, you can always kind of bring it back, turn it back, whatever. Um, hit this with the torch just to see if I like it. I do like a lot of the color expression in it, especially in the areas where you have the thicker colors, the bigger colors happening. my cue to what? Check out, see what we got going on here. Oh, I'm going to have to get a new uh, stand for my <laughs> tripod there. But yeah, I do like some of the movement on this here. Uh, very expressive, very telling of everything. Per se, oh, there goes the AC finally. Thank you. Some cell reaction. Um, this is a method that I may try again at some point, you know, just to see if I can get colors laid a little bit nicer. I can like the second one too. You know, I didn't move any of the colors around. I didn't like the second one. Um, I mean, these could be a set. if it worked. Let's find out. Y'all know what we're doing next. And ooh. yeah, that's actually a really chill little look there as far as the you know the black light look on it. I'm a fan. So it'll be something more to experiment with. So yeah, I'm gonna go snap myself some photos and just go to bed. Thanks for playing. Deuces.